Today's math topic is about statistics. And from the math 3, we know that statistics is a subdiscipline of mathematics. In this knowledge board, you will study three interesting fields of life where statistics are used. Statistics in plural. So it should be with R. Statistics is the study of the collection, analysis, interpretation, organization, and representation of data. The first field is in school. In school and education, we can find our, our average grade mark. This statistic is important to people who don't know us. Or also, it can be compared with other classes and pupils to define which is better. So we have some school subjects and a grade. For them, let's say biology is five, astronomy, sports, chemistry, and geography. So all that marks should be divided by the subjects count. There it is, and we have the average mark, which gives us a clue. <laughs> the next field is in sports and games, we can use statistics to define the winner. The general score for this player can be compared to other players. And let's say the player has some abilities which will be one will be defense which of this there is defense shooting that should be shooting passing dribbling that looks like dribbling and headshot also speed now this score points should be divided by should be multiplied by the coefficient of the player and we get the score of this player. And the next field that statistics is mostly used is in politics. In politics, every media is eager to make statistics when elections come. The party with more than 50% the half of the votes can rule itself. <clears throat> uh, what I am doing here is that I have uh, uh, six parties, political parties, and for every one of them I have a number of people that should vote to them. So let's play the Democrats. Democrats, they are, let's say, that Six hundred and forty-two people will vote for them in a controlled environment. That should be forty percent of all the people that we have. Socialists, that should be those red ones. They have five hundred and sixty-seven people. That should be 35% of all people that will vote for them. Then we have the green with 190. That should be 12%. The pacifists, those that love peace. That should be just 4%. Not a lot of people. Centrists with 123. That that should be eight percent, all votes count, and the, the <coughs> nationalists it under four percent percent, and that gives us an, a statistic for the parties which may be represented by a round diagram. <laughs> okay. So, this should be the knowledge dosage for today, and until new meetings.